So my 3D printer stopped working in the middle of print, and after trying all the usual methods, it was still jammed. So here's how to fix it. So the first step you want to do is make sure that your printer is off by using the little power button on the side, and that the heater is cooled down so that you won't burn yourself. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to take this filament out Pull that out, some pliers, and I'm just going to cut this part off so that because it's all roughed up there. You're going to want a T10 Torx driver. What you're going to want to do underneath here, uh, there is going to be two screws in a little divot. And now what you're going to want to do is unscrew the one on the right. Now the right one is the deepest screw, and so. You're just going to unscrew this. Next, you're going to want to use, uh, I'm, I'm not even sure what this is, but um, I found this little thing in my uh, workbench that fits. And then what we're going to do is we are just going to pull this cover off very carefully because there is a wire in here that you don't want to break. And now what we're going to want to do is take this wire off here. This one right here. And you don't want to pull by the wire uh, because that could damage it, which I probably am doing right now by being so rough with it. Oof. So we're going to put this off to the side. And now what we're going to do, um, we're going to take this white wire off of this stepper motor here. Because what we want to do is remove this stepper motor assembly because, well, this assembly here is what feeds the um, filament. And now that we have this off, we can remove this by using the two screws under here. So the screws that we want to remove are this one down here. You can see it kind of underneath there, right where I'm pointing. So that connects to this uh, stepper motor and also this screw right there. Now that this stepper motor is unscrewed, we can carefully take this up or take this off by lifting it upwards and then pulling it out because of this little wire here. We don't want to, this wire, this black wire, we don't want to break that. So we're going to lift this up to get it out of its little position and then we're going to carefully pull it backwards. Now, this is usually the culprit here. Now, the filament feeds in through this hole and then the stepper motor pulls it through and out here which goes into the extruder and so what we want to do is we just want to clean this out and so this lever here when you press it that's going to release any filament that's in there and now if you have something stuck in there you can just pull this open and rip it out or push it back through now, for re reassembling this, um, it's a very straightforward process and you're just gonna do everything in reverse. So what I'm gonna do, I'm going to put this uh, back on by just going, putting it here, then pushing it into its position, making sure that this black wire is not obstructed or anything. And then that should sit in very snug and nicely in its little spot. Now, um, the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to get the torque screws from the previous step, these two long ones, and I'm just going to put those back. All 
All right, now that I've got this bolted in again, I'm gonna take this white connector here and I'm just gonna put it right back where it was. Just like that. And now um, we're gonna take the casing from before and you may notice that this Dremel logo, that faces forward. So what we wanna do, I wanna put this white cable back just like that. And then we're just gonna put this on, minding that this um, flexible cable here doesn't break or anything. And now once we have this back on, these two screws we need to grab. That's gonna be the two short T10 torque screws. And we're just gonna put these back in. Okay, well, I just realized that these are not Torx screws, uh, these are the hex screws or whatever, but apparently the Torx uh, screwdriver worked for it. The last step in putting this thing back together is getting this actual Torx T10 screw and that uh, goes in the bottom of this guy right here, and we're just going to put that right back where it was. All right, now that this is fully assembled again, uh, the last step is we are just going to turn on the 3D printer. And then once that is on, we will do the new filament process. All right, so now that the printer has started, we're gonna click filament. Uh, I'm just gonna hit later on that. We're gonna hit filament, change filament. And then we're going to have to wait for it to preheat. Alright, so now that this is heated up, um, what we're going to do is we're going to take this filament here and feed it through the uh, filament feeder thing. And we are just going to put that right into there while it's going. Now this is going to very slowly pull the filament through and it should come out on the other side. So as you can see, that filament is coming through successfully. So we have unclogged it. Now you can just hit done. And that's going to detect what filament it's using. And you're done.